G'day Spuddies, I'm a bit busy. So this week, this, today's video is from a week ago. Uh, Dr. Michael Clapper, the great Dr. Michael Clapper was in Australia uh, for a speaking tour, uh, a nutrition symposium tour. And uh, I was lucky enough to be invited along with him. Part of his trip was uh, to go on a tour of Edgar's Mission, which is a really cool uh, sanctuary. I've been meaning to go there for a long time. They do lots of, uh, they rescue lots of animals and they're uh, beautiful people. Pam Ahern runs it. If you want to know more about Edgar's Mission, I'll put a link in the description. Um, but yeah, anyway, I was really lucky and fortunate to be able to go and hang out with uh, Michael Clapper for the day and get a tour of Edgar's Mission. Um, so I did a video and that's what you're about to see. So uh, I wasn't very good at videoing. Um, I kept on forgetting to video when Pam was doing little bits of really interesting talking. But hey, whatever I did is in the video coming up now. I hope you enjoy our day. Watch to the end because uh, I had a really, uh, really great little chat with Michael Clapper at the end of the video about what we'd seen for the day. And he spoke beautifully. So um, yeah, don't miss it. All right, we're at Edgar's Mission. We're, uh, we're doing a tour with all of these lovely people who... Well, why don't we introduce everyone? Go. I'm Juliet. Helene. Uh, Alphonse Brooks. Michael Clapper. And... Natalie and Stuart. Macintosh. Yeah. And what is it, raw food? Raw food, raw, food for raw, life. raw food for life. Michael Clapper, probably everyone knows Michael Clapper. And um, what's your website again? Uh, DrRooks.com. All right, and we're all doing a tour of Edgar's mission, and um, and we were just looking at this statue of Edgar Allan Pig. Is that on the yeah, Edgar Allan Pig? And uh, yeah, and you had an interesting little story to go with it. Oh, the, he was the he's the model of uh, what they used for um, the ad to free the uh, uh, to make aware about the pigs in 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 breeding stalls. Yeah, the sows, and they used the flying pig as the. As, as the dream about uh, escape to freedom. Yeah, yeah. So you can see again the statue there has got wings on it. Anyway, so this is an animal sanctuary and it's called Edgar's Mission, named after Edgar Allan Pig. So let's go and have a look around. Here's the uh, statement of Edgar's Mission. If we could live happy and healthy lives without harming others, why wouldn't we? I don't know. Why wouldn't we? So I should have introduced this video a bit better. But uh, Michael Clapper is here for a tour of Australia, a speaking tour. And uh, I'm lucky enough that I've been able to come for a, a sort of private tour of Edgar's Mission. It's a cool place. I've never been here before. But uh, we're just doing this. Pam's up there, the owner, or the owner, the director, I don't know, the person in charge of Edgar's mission. And uh, she's going to give us a private tour. And we're at the moment, we're walking to have some lunch before our tour. He was a fan of this. He had, um, hi, and he's a very funny dude. Come down the left side. Hello. Hello. Oh, he, uh, a little he had pig a friend. wing in his nose, a horrible, oh. really, like, it was almost like a bull ring. I've never seen a big one in an in a pig before. And um, he had the hairiest nose you've ever seen because he couldn't have any opportunities to um, to get rid of the hair. But now it's all gone. It's all gone. And we've actually found a home for Hampton. So, um, hello. 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 <laughs> and this is one of the things when I, when I had Edgar and yeah, I had him in the stable. I was just rubbing his tummy like this. Oh my God, I, I used to eat these things. I just want everyone to have this experience. Yeah. 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 Feel yeah. this and yeah. Hey. I'm happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this is his toilet flush. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what you used to Yeah. Thank you. They change awesome. some noises, don't they? When yeah. You really enjoy it. Yeah. They do. They do. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. She was um, born with congenital toxicity, and uh, she has a little wheelchair, and she's just outrageous. I'm sure we'll see her on our travels. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Just having a look around the barn where yeah. animals come when they're first rescued to hang out and just get assessed and they, um, if they're sick they hang out here as well. I can hear a lamb. Some little lambies in here. Oh, little lamb with a broken leg. 
This one's got two broken right, back. Oh, he does too. Two broken back legs over there. So we've got some. Uh, yes. <laughs> so this uh, one, right, Tilly? Oh, this poor little girl, um, she came in a little while ago and um, someone found her and she had a, the rubber ring lacerator put on her tail mm. and it come off and she had terrible fly strike. Uh, it was right on the top. Mm. And the infection that she'd gone through into her back legs and her joints and she's got joint ill. Oh. So she's getting treated for that. Yeah. Very demanding. <laughs> oh. So he came to me the day, it was, it was the second day of life uh, from the egg industry. He was sold off a snake food, Gaston sold off a snake food and him and his little friend they got to the other end and they started chirping and mm. the guy didn't know what to do so the other little friend he passed away like about an hour after he arrived he was really sick he was quite sick but he got better <laughs> and he used to sit under my hair there that's why he liked sitting on my shoulder he doesn't realize he's a big bird now <laughs> but i go for rides on my oh bike God. and he sits up there he goes fast <laughs> he loves going to my mum's he sits on the table she says a little plate food with spaghetti and <laughs> yeah is he yeah. a right arm or um he would be probably an icer brown i'd say from being really sick. and it's just awesome <gasps> they, re they released a new um, variant of the yeah, Khaleesi, the Khaleesi last year. That's right, yeah, and we've got to get them vaccinated every six months now. Mm. Is that any kind of oh. no. It will be for, no, it's, no. It's, still, it's still a terrible, they don't just get it and die. Right. Um, and then they'll get the resistance again and they'll have to go and try and find another thing. Like, why they just don't get a vector that renders them sterile? Exactly. Would be, yeah. mm. would be the way to go. For, for all like these animals that they consider pests, like humans, would be a good one. Well, that, that's what they've done. Wow. We're going to go and feed some sheep with some wheat picks. Yeah. Hello. Look at all right. Yeah. You're being very great today. Have you got sheep? Got sheep We've already own, started. No. Gosh, no, we have too many. These are the last lot that haven't been oh, done. Oh my god. Oh. All right, let's go and find someone who wants some food. Our main flock have all been done. There you go, mate. Oh, don't eat my hand. Jeez, he didn't knock around, did he? This is Annabelle. Oh, well, this big fella wants a. There you go. Big fella wants a. No, not big fella. Hi. Oh, look at them all. They're all excited. They've gone real quick. So that one is Lombard. He's a little. He's one of the ones that's coming as an adult. Could I grab but another he, he will come up to you. Lemonade. All right. Hey, here you go, big fella. Have some of this one. Come on, Lombardi. There you go, Lombardi. Who else wants this one? You want one too? Whoops, she dropped a bit there. Don't forget this bit. Woohoo! I got no more. Sorry, mate. Hello. <laughs> Birds here. Hi, there you go. There you go. Hello, everyone. It is so beautiful. No way we you don't have any that. factory farm turkeys at the. And her mama's cow. We rescued a couple of mama cows a couple of years ago because we always. Everyone knows about bobby cows. We all know oh. bobby cows. And I've always wanted to rescue a mama cow because we tend to forget about the mama cows. Like they yeah. lose their babies all the time yeah. and they get sent off to slaughter. And I rescued two mama cows and they're actually pregnant. Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah. And they gave birth here at the sanctuary to their baby. No. Hello, look at you. Go, they're late. This one is actually a bobby cow. Oh. And people go, oh, she looks like a, you know, a beef cow. And what they do a lot of the time in the, in the dairy industry when they know they don't want a baby, they'll cross them with a beef cow because they get a heavier birth weight calf and they sell the calf by weight. So they just get that little bit more out of it. And this was this girl. And um, wow. She was the lucky one. She's the lucky one. Well, you can give her a wheat bit. She'll love you forever. Yeah. Watch that big tongue. Yeah. It's just like an elephant's tongue. Yeah. yeah. And that's her friend Cappuccino, who's one of those special needs goats. Special needs goats. I work with plenty of special needs kids. <laughs> Oh, kids. Oh, you're stuck Goats. there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm not going to go to this. Hey, dudes. How are we going? You all right? Look at you. Oh, wow. I don't know if you're supposed to show on the back of your hand like you do for a dog or... Hey. Hey, 
buddy. You're excited, yes. aren't you? Yeah. And nothing yeah. to eat. Yeah. Nothing to eat. Sorry, Sorry. we can't feed you. Disappointment. <laughs> what do you serve me? How cool that I am. Yeah. He actually escaped from an abattoir. Oh. He, so he's ah. still really, really quite scared. We've got a few actually abattoir escapees. Ruby! No. That's Eric. Which one's Gandalf? <laughs> Gandalf. That's Gandalf there. That's Which Gandalf. One? This one's Gandalf. Yeah. Gandalf. Yeah, there's Mick Jagger over there. He's, he's blind. It's Mick in one Jagger. Eye. Ruby, come here. Which one escaped? Which one? Um, um oh, sorry. sorry. Um, yeah. Magpie over there. He escaped. And I'm in the middle of the screen there. Yeah. And in the other paddock, Sounder. He Sounder's actually a really lovely story. He escaped from the abattoir in Brooklyn, and he ran into this guy's factory, and the guy actually called us. Um, to come to come and get him and we went down to get him and he told us um, a couple of weeks before a sheep from the same abattoir escaped and ended up in his factory and he called the police and the police came and they hog tied the sheep and they shoved it in oh, the, the back of the car mm. and he said I'll never forget the look in the eye of that animal when, when they took it away and mm. he said it was, it was just horrible the animal was just looking at me pleading to save it and he, he knew it was going back to the abattoir and he didn't want Sounder to do the same and uh, that's why we took Sounder but Sounder we thought he had a broken jaw it was just like hanging but he just almost really whacked it when he, when he did his runner mm. but now sounder is one of the first goats that come running up to you when to the in the other goat paddock um for a wheat bix treat yeah 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 really <laughs> that's your little friend ballet bob hey ballet bob oh, hello ballet bob. hey buddy <coughs> well, it's got a great nature yeah it's my living apology it's my living apology really when I was with Edgar and, and it was just like rubbing his stomach, how the bloody hell did I eat you like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was an animal lover, you know, I saved dogs and cats. Yeah. I helped wildlife. Yeah. We all ran to the Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But do you know we have generations now of people who don't? Like generations of people who have never eaten animals? Yes. Yeah, how yes. Awesome really cool. yes. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? And also these little often girls, they are yeah. three, four years. Yes. And they say, I don't want I these animals. Yeah. And I think, why yeah. wasn't I like that? I know. So we have see the world's greatest tool for change. It's free and it's available within. What could it possibly be? <laughs> I could tell you that you could change the world and you just brush it off, but if actually we, we get people to start to think about these things and the brain starts to make pathways and makes connections, it's going to be far more permanent than me actually telling you something. When you actually think that, and again, that speaks to the goodness of the human heart. And Eddie, you're the greatest tool for change. Everyone loves Eddie. Steady, Eddie. Yeah. Hey, that's where you're going now. You came. Oh, the wee pig. Uh, <laughs> that's what you call a eureka moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, while she's talking. All right, well, thanks for showing us around, Pam. Yeah. Oh, bravo. Yeah, well, thank, you. Yeah. thank you so much. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Pam Ahern. I'm the founder and director of Edgar's Mission. This beautiful sanctuary <laughs> exists to give <laughs> people a chance to meet these animals. I truly believe in the goodness of the human heart and I just want people to think about what we do and how it impacts upon them. Thank you. Thanks so much for having us, Pam. It was uh, eye-opening and um, just a beautiful experience. So thank you. Thank you. All right, here with Dr. Michael Clapper. Uh, last time I met you was at uh, True North Health Centre. Right. Hello, and we've got a goat friend here. <laughs> and um, so your work is mostly about uh, good nutrition and health. Mm -hmm. And uh, another aspect of veganism is this, what we've done today, touring Edgar's mission. So what are your thoughts on it? Oh, well, this has been a most wonderful experience. It uh, opened uh, my... Uh, my awareness of uh, the wonderful work being done here um, on behalf of the animals and it's opened my heart to, uh, to all this love that the, uh, that goes to the animals and the animals give, us, give back. Every animal knows how to love. They all, they all have that key, you know, they're all our teachers uh, and they're all love professors. And as we spend an <laughs> afternoon and all these love professors, I'm just all blissed out from, uh, from the sweetness and the innocence of these animals yeah. and, and the reminder uh, that they are beings. And, Animal rights I mean these creatures have a right to live their lives without any interference from you or me or anyone. They enjoy the sunshine and the 
and the freedom of uh, a summer afternoon just like you and I do. And, um, and we can help them realize their life's ambition uh, by not eating them. And it really does make a difference. These are real creatures. And uh, you can do your part to help love them by uh, choosing whole plant foods when it comes time to, uh, to order lunch. So, uh, <laughs> so come on out to, uh, uh, to Edgar's Mission. What a wonderful, uh, magical place. Highly recommended. It's a class act. They do a great job here. And they're worthy yeah. of your support as well. So uh, uh, thanks on behalf of all the animals, including yeah, yeah. you. And uh, love professors, I like that. Indeed. I haven't heard that before. <laughs> How could you eat someone who was a love professor? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's their lesson. They, yeah. they blare, blare it out real loud. Yeah. <laughs> Even though don't all say right, that. whole food plant based is not just good for you, it's good for all these love professors we met. <laughs> Indeed. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Clover. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, what did you think of that? Really, really cool day. I had such a cool day. It was really nice getting to know uh, everyone who was there and um, and meeting all the animals. Uh, I was just, yeah, this, I've never I've, I've never done that before. Um, and, you know, I don't normally get all vegan in my videos. Um, but, hey, it was, uh, that's what the day was. So that's what we're doing. Um, anyway. That's that. Uh, tomorrow uh, is another little video about uh, we we went to a a documentary uh, premiere. So you'll hear more about that tomorrow. And otherwise, if you like what I'm doing, hit, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and share with your friends. And if you're interested, I'm having a Spud Fit retreat, and that's all about uh, coming away with me for a week um, to eat some potatoes and work on. Uh, our food psychology and, uh, and learn to change the way we think and behave around food. Um, it's going to be an intense week with uh, lots of cool stuff happening. So go to the link in the description if you want to learn more about that. Spot up, everyone.